Hi everyone, I'm The Norm, and today we're going to talk about Sir Alex Ferguson. Yes, he's retired, ding dong and all that. And it's a shame, to be honest. Uh, we're going to have a look into the reasons a little bit later as to why he's finally retired. But first of all, I'd like to say, kind of well done. There's no manager in the modern era who's succeeded as much as he has. Who's had the same level of control at a football club, especially the one the size of Man United. And he's been successful on a consistent basis. And really, that's the true sign of greatness. Can you do it year on year? And yes, he can. He's been at the top, and congrats to him. He's seen off many challengers. Mourinho's come and gone. Ralph Benitez has come and gone. Mancini's come and is probably going to be gone. Arsene Wenger had a brief soiree. I know it's the second time in two videos I've used that. Um, in the sunlight, and then was crushed under the might of Man United. And this is going to make me sound like a Man United supporter, but I'm not. Even from a neutral, you have to say, yeah, Sir Alex Ferguson's pretty damn good. And yeah, there's a lot of horrible things to him as well. His constant badgering of the FA and the officials. His Fergie time, that may be a little bit more pronounced than it actually is. And the way he's kind of domineered over the entire league, and the complete loving of the press with him. We all know that if you question Sir Alex Ferguson or any of his family members, then you get banned from the training ground, you don't get to get the quotes. And Man United are a big club, they've probably got more fans than anyone else. And if you're not getting the big quotes, you're not getting the paper sales, you don't get the paper sales, you're not doing your job in that way. And you're probably then going to get sacked. So, the vast majority of journalists toe the line and do whatever Alex Ferguson tells them to do. So, the man's not perfect, but he's driven. And he's driven to succeed. Probably if you broke it down to him, kind of John Ronson style, you'd probably say he's a sociopath. Because he's got that kind of shark-esque dedication to be the best. I mean, heck, he won the European Cup at Aberdeen. And was the last manager of a small club outside of Celtic Rangers to win the Scottish Premier League, or the Scottish League, First Division, whatever it was called back then, he broke the Celtic Rangers' dominance with Aberdeen. Where Aberdeen now? Who knows? And really, who cares? So, there's a lot to congratulate Sir Alex Ferguson for. So, first of all, well done. Congratulations for your successes. Really, they pay for themselves. So, there's three reasons as to why Alex Ferguson would have retired. He's sick of football. He's... On the way out, medically, or he's actually already dead. So, first of all, the first option, he's bored of football. And yet, given how much of a cakewalk this season was, he's probably thought, you know what, stuff it. It seemed as though he was reinvigorated when Mourinho took over, when Wenger kind of had his little gleam to come back harder, stronger, and absolutely annihilated. The fact that Mancini at Man City, their biggest rivals, who've spent a sick amount of money, offered a limp defence of their Premier League, you may have thought, what is the point? Linked with that, when he first joined over, he said he wanted to knock Liverpool off their perch. Yes, it's a perch they've not been on for quite some time, and he's done it with their uh, 20 uh, trophies. <laughs> 20 league titles, in fact, let's get, let's not, let's be specific about the trophies. 20 league titles against Liverpool's 19 and which will never increase. So maybe, so that's it, I've done, I've done what I set out to be, fuck Liverpool and who can blame them. So good on them, it may be that. It might be that he realises there may not be much money coming out of Old Trafford. He probably looks over, the shakes at Man City are probably going to give another splurge to cover for Mancini's lack of leadership and managerial qualities. If Mourinho goes to Chelsea, then Abramovich is probably going to go dig deep. So he's going to see a lot of money come out, and maybe with the Glazers in charge, you may not be seeing a lot of that. So you, think, you know what? I'll end at the top. And there's nothing wrong with ending at the top. You don't want to keep on going where you just end up ruining the club against your own um, kind of selfishness, your own ego. Before we go to the medical grounds, the timing is a little bit weird. Mourinho may be free in the summer. It may be that they've done 
kind of progress that a little bit earlier to try and get a jump on Chelsea. Because Mourinho probably is the, the better available manager. He's better than David Moyes. He's better than David Moyes. Maybe Alan Pardew, who's probably also going to be out of a job in the summer. But it may be they've just kind of moved early, get Mourinho in, because the next manager is going to have to hit the ground running. Unless they want the spectre of Alex Ferguson over them, they're going to have to win the league probably in their very first season and get to probably the semi-finals of a Champions League just to kind of dish off any kind of dust. I mean, look at Chelsea. They've still got Mourinho's spectre over them, and that was six, seven, eight years ago. It's going to be a big job who takes it over. What it might be is, he, I mean, he's getting on a bit. He's into his 70s, and he's going for surgery. It might be... The kind of surgery where you never know what the outcome's going to be. He's deserved a rest. He's battled and battled hard on a daily basis at the very top for at least at United, 24, 26 years. So maybe, so you know what, I've got a surgery coming up. It's going to take me six months, maybe do a year to recover. Let's just let it go. Let me just spend my money, watch my horses, and actually give my wife some personal time. The third option is a little bit out there. Maybe he's already dead. Yes, I may have watched Weekend of Bernie's a little bit too much uh, over the past years, but maybe he's already dead. That's why Man United was so good. They were playing for his honour and for his memory, but nobody wanted to, nobody needed to know that Alex Ferguson passed away. Mike Feeling doing a great job of just holding him up, puppeteering him where needed. Oh, it's over there! Body of Sir Alex Ferguson. And that might be the reason now, now they've won that league, they can actually come out with oh, he's passed away in, a, in, in bed. Maybe linked with the second option. But I'm nearly convinced Alex Ferguson died maybe a year ago. Maybe he died of a heart attack when Man City won the Premier League on goal difference. And I know it's keep it hush hush. We don't want people seeing any weakness. Mike Field is carrying him around and players had to do it for his memory. Maybe that was the reason. So congrats, Alex. You've done a mint job. Good luck to the next person. That's quite a big job. I think anybody would like to be the next, next person. Let David Moyes crash and burn. And then you can take over afresh. You don't have the, the stench of Alex Ferguson around the place. But maybe David Moyes will be the best manager in the world. Probably not. So cheers everyone for watching. I'm going to go get some food. Starving. Good night.